Good afternoon. I uh, appreciate everybody for coming. Obviously, everybody's here because this morning I met with Jason Moss and relieved him of his duties as head coach of the Edmonton Eskimos. I'd like to thank Jason for his hard work and dedication and also wish him well in his future endeavors. Ultimately, I felt the past two seasons we underachieved as a team, and that was the, the final decision. But Jason and I had a long conversation at the end of the 2018 season and, and discussed what we felt moving forward was going to be best for the organization to get to the ultimate goal, which is the Grey Cup. Um, we had a good discussion, and uh, I, I like Jason. I have immense respect for him professionally. And uh, unfortunately, these past two seasons, we just didn't get to where I thought we should get. There's a lot of reasons and pieces to the puzzle of why the final decision was made. And do penalties at the inopportune time ultimately hinder your chances? Yes, that wasn't the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. And uh, again, I think anything specifically is going to come across as, for lack of a better term, mudslinging. And, and I don't think that's the, this is the time or place for that. Yeah, right now we uh, are fresh off the decision with Jason. And uh, I'm not going to speak about any individuals or potential candidates by name. Uh, we're going to cast a wide net and ultimately come up with who we feel and I feel is the, the best head coach for this organization. Oh, it's very important to get on the right guy. Ultimately, we want the, the best success we can have for this organization and qualities I'm looking for. Overall, uh, this will come across vague, but it's the truth, is ultimately the, the person who gives us the best opportunity to compete for a Grey Cup. Um, is it mandatory they have CFL experience? No, but is that something that I string, uh, am looking for in, in a characteristic? Yes. I don't have a, a date set, the sooner the better for a lot of reasons, but we're going to make sure we get the right person as opposed to getting a person by a certain day and time. No, there wasn't a, a preset mind made up or decision, and that's why it took this long, is I wanted to take my time and be pragmatic about this, get, gather as much information as possible, and really I didn't want to make a long-term decision on short-term emotion, whether that was the excitement of winning in Montreal or the disappointment of the 2-7 and seven finish and the Hamilton loss. So uh, it was a lot of reasons, but there was no set mandate of where we need to get to for a decision to be made, no. Uh, it's, it's not easy. It's not a happy day. This is not something that um, I'm rejoicing in any way. It was difficult. I, like I said, I like Jason a lot as a person. I've seen him as a father. I think he's a tremendous father. I think he's a great person, and I have respect for him professionally. So this is very difficult. It's not something you ever want to do, that's for sure.